Yeah, yeah. You're on a stationary bus and you do a vertical troll. The ball goes up, then falls back onto my hand. Now the bus is moving at a constant speed and you do the vertical troll. What difference does it make? The ball goes up and falls back onto my hand. Are you sure it won't fall behind you since the bus is moving forward? Of course not. Your friend is standing by the road and sees you doing the vertical throw on the moving bus. Oh, then she sees a vertical throw moving forward. Yep, she sees a projectile motion. A projectile motion is nothing more than a vertical throw moving horizontally at a constant speed. To obtain a projectile motion, one only has to throw the ball at an angle. The vertical component of velocity will decide the vertical motion. The horizontal component of velocity will keep the ball going forward at a constant speed. We are going to watch the same video again, but this time, I've added some vertical lines into the video. These vertical lines are spaced out equally. The ball is going to come this way, bounce on the floor, and travel across the screen this way. Now every time the ball touches the white line, you are going to hear a ting sound. Now can you tell me how the ting sounds are going to sound like? I mean, are they going to be like? Ting 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 Or are they going to sound like Ting 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 Or what? So pause the video now and When you have formed your own answer, join me again Alright Let's see how it goes Shall we watch it again? So the things are equally spaced out and this should make sense because the horizontal motion of a projectile motion is constant speed motion so the ball is always going horizontally at a constant speed Okay, we are looking at the same video again, but this time I've added horizontal lines which are spaced equal distance apart. So the ball is going to come this way and cross these lines this way. Again, you hear a thing sound whenever the ball crosses the line. So go ahead, when you form your own answers, join me again. Okay, let's check your predictions. Let's watch it again. This should make sense to you because the vertical motion of a projectile motion is constant acceleration motion. So the ball as it rises is slowing down and as it falls it speeds up. So a projectile motion is just me doing a vertical throw on a moving bus. I get to control the vertical motion, like how high up the ball goes, and how long it stays in the air. And the bus driver controls the constant speed horizontal motion, like how fast the ball moves horizontally.